But Brendan, there was also a a bromance. Yes. That Vassar Nation needs to know about. Please. Apparently, you knew Blake from before the show. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Please, Blake please points. break down that. Break friendship that down. And t- we need to tell us how it happened. Mouth. You want to hear? You want to hear? I'll dive in, boys. I'll dive in. So, Blake, uh, Blake grew up with, with with my brother playing minor hockey. Nice. And then they went to the same high school together. Um, at that age, you know, having like the four year age gap, I was kind of like the little kid running around. Um, and they were playing hockey, and I was a little brother going to hockey games and, and watching him play. As you know, we started getting older. When you can have a couple drinks at the bar, you know, we all we all became super close. So my brother Ryan's best friends with Blake, uh, our whole friend group is like very tight knit community. So Blake and I play on the same, you know, hockey team on Thursday nights um, in in the Toronto area. Um, it's just the closest guys from growing up that are together on this hockey team. But you know, I've, I've been to Blake's cottage fishing with him and his brother Cody. You know, I, I know Emily really well. That's awesome. And I was genuinely. I, I, I was shocked when he showed up because in our friend group, him, him and I are the only single ones left. And it's kind of hard now because everyone's getting engaged and everyone is, is coupled up. So when we wanted to do something with our friends, we're like, oh, well, like we're doing this with this couple. So Blake and I would just be, we're, it's just us, man. Like, like we're, 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 we're the only guys here without someone. So, so wait, do, friend, so would you guys go out like, to bars, you know, yeah. to go meet women, yeah, as boys, as boys. Okay, um, okay. So this, yeah, time. we just you know little friend group action. Just go get, get some drinks, uh, go fishing at his cottage, hang out, um, barbecue together. Just him and I, just you know, just kicking it. So, um, how much did Blake know fr- about you going on the show? Oh, he, he he knew, he knew. I mean, I was I was with Blake two weeks before I flew out to New Mexico, and and and, and the reason why that. You know, we, it's weird just that we're on back to back seasons, but our, our whole friend group said, if there's anyone that could like find love on a reality show and actually do this experience, it's like literally Brendan and Blake, right? So Blake went through his season. I was full. That's the only season I ever watched, um, just to support him, obviously. So yeah, I was with, I was with Blake two weeks before I flew out. I remember FaceTiming him at the airport and I'm like, Hey man, he's like, all right, buddy, well, you're in it now. Good luck. Good luck. And I'm like, all right, buddy, like I'll see you when I'm home. So wait, so, what? To, wait, yeah, I'm like, I'm talk to me about that dynamic. Like, so wait, you guys are literally competing for the same woman. Like, I don't know if that ever happened off the show, but you know, usually two boys like, all right, you know, you you connect more with her, I connect more with her, and you guys go yeah, your separate yeah. ways. But now you're competing against the same woman. Like, did that yeah. affect your friendship in any way? No, no. I, I well, when Tasha walked in, she said, you know, journeys are going to change, and, and I started, I, I literally started trying to connect dots. And I'm like, I look over to James on the couch. I'm like, dude, it's Blake. Like it's, <laughs> I'm 99.9% sure it's Blake. 